Hi, it's Amy, your Mac Mentor here, and today I want to talk about email and sometimes how you want to use a different email address for different people or for newsletter signups and online purchases that's separate from your personal email. So I wanted to show you how to make an iCloud email alias because it's a great way to set up a separate email account, but it's not really a whole separate email account. So you get to have a separate email address, but it's really simple to set up and everything comes into your same inbox. You just have the option to separate which items are for personal use and which ones are for your other uh, contacts. So this is how you would set up an email alias using iCloud. So first you need to have an iCloud account. So we're going to iCloud.com and then you're going to log in with your existing iCloud address. Then we click on mail. Then choose preferences, which is the little gear icon on the lower left and choose preferences. And then we're going into accounts. And you'll see right there, it says add an alias. So this is where you can choose a name that will be whatever name you choose at iCloud.com and that will be your new email. And then you can put in whatever name you want to show up in the from name. You can give it a label and a color if you want to identify it uh, from your other emails. In this case, I just created the alias. A lot of names are already taken, so you have to get really creative here. So we'll just put in another name and let's see if it takes and we did it. So now you have a separate email alias. You get up to three, I think, with Apple. And now if you go to compose an email message, you can choose which account you're sending from. This is really important. So if you don't want some people to have your personal email address, you're gonna choose your alias when you're sending to those contacts. If you use Apple Mail, you can see that in Apple Mail, you can go to your preferences and you'll see under your iCloud account, you'll notice that it has a, um, your email address shows up there and you can choose which one is the default. And then there's an edit email addresses, which will take you onto your iCloud.com if you want to add another alias or delete one. And that's the beauty of it. You can just delete the alias. If you're getting a lot of junk mail, just get rid of it. But here again, you can choose which one you're sending from, and you'll be able to see which ones have been sent to the new address as well. So I hope that tip today will help you to manage your email a little more efficiently. And if you have more questions about it, please leave me a comment or visit us at mymacmentor.com and you can make an appointment with one of us to work with you on your particular needs. Have a great day. See you next time.